Welcome back everyone to this new tutorial where we're going to be working on the fire and smoke simulation in Blender. Then we're going to be animating our rocket launch into space. By the way, this is a tutorial series that will help you make this short film animation of this space shuttle discovery launch into space. You can also watch the previous tutorials on how to model this space station and also you can download this spaceship model for free on realityfigures.net website. The link is going to be down below. Alright, so let's get to work. Alright, so I'm going to get started by creating a domain. So let me put you put the cursor at the center just like this so I'm gonna hit shift A and let's bring a simple cube and I'd like to scale it to these following dimensions so let me activate my screencast keys over here so for example I'd like to set it over here to 40 same thing on the y-axis to 40 and on the z-axis I would like to give it 15 so this one's gonna be the starting point for achieving good results good smoke results okay so we got it I'd like to put it right on the floor because we're going to be uh, using the bottom side of our domain as a collision. So it's going to, the smoke is going to collide with the bottom side. All right, so let's go over here. I'm going to go to the physics properties and I'm going to click on fluid. And I'm going to be choosing the domain. So now as you can see, switch it, switch into a wireframe. So the second thing that we need to do is let's work on the settings over here. So for the resolution, I'd like to start with a 50, 50 resolution. It's really low. I'm going to increase that direct, uh, later on. So for the border collisions, I'd like to check the bottom side to make the smoke and fire collide with the bottom side, which is the base, our base. And I would like to also check the adaptive domain. So basically, this option limits the baking to only the affected areas. So for example, if we don't have any smoke and fire over here, we're only going to compute this part. So this is a really good approach if you want to increase uh, the, the speed of our baking so make sure to check that out and uh, over here we have the heat the density so we're going to be checking later on the noise but for now let me just gonna stop right here but for the type of baking i would like to switch it to the modular just so that we can have the option over here to bake the data but also i'd like to do something else which is check this is resumable which means that we can stop at any second that we want and we can resume our baking later on. So this option is really useful. All right, so we just set our domain. All we have to do right now is to check or to add the source or uh, our add our engines. So for that, I'm gonna be just, uh, let me just bring these up. I'm gonna bring them up, for example, like this. This is just a test. Also, we can do this. I'm gonna just hide all the other components. H to hide them, just like this, H. Gonna bring them back using this eye over here. All right, so over here, I'm gonna just, uh, you know, let me just bring them even up. So this is the, the, the important area, the, the engines. So I think I'm gonna start with this one. So as a starting point, just so that we can see, gonna select these, all to select the entire row, Shift D, just like that. So let me move it down a little bit, hit F to fill that gap. And also I'm gonna hit B, separate selection. So now we have this section separated so let me just bring it inside like that and i'm gonna go over here to physics properties again choose fluid and now i'm gonna be choosing the flow just like that so now let's change the settings so first we have the type of the flow so i don't want it to be just smoke i want both of those fire plus smoke and also for the behavior flow behavior i would like to change it from geometry to inflow so basically geometry is gonna be just uh or the inflow it's gonna be constant output of fire and smoke not just one time it's gonna keep giving us uh, that output uh, it's gonna go on and on all right so also let me just check the other settings also over here if you want to increase the amount of fuel you can increase it from here i think the top is one a five all right so that's it for this one so we can go ahead right now and do a quick bake just so that we can see what we got so i'm gonna hit bake and as you can see, it's really fast because we we are running on well, a low resolution over here. So we can stop right here and assess the quality of our bacon. So you can see that we have some fire over there and some smoke. But as you can see, we don't have any movements. So actually what we need to do right now is to kind of push the fire and smoke down. So for that, we're going to be using uh, this one. So Shift A, let me use uh, uh, Force Field. It's going to be Wind. So we need to push that out. But let me just switch the wireframe so that you can be able to see it. So this is the force. You can see it's applied from downside upwards. So what we need to do is to switch it. So I'm going to hit RY 180 degree. So now it's upside down. This is, this is exactly what we need. 
So all I have to do is uh, I'm going to increase the strength. For example, let's start with 100. So we can always uh, control this uh, if you want to reduce the strength of it. But the problem with this wind, it's going to also affect the wind. It's going to push it down, which is not the case that we have in real in reality. So you can see that over here. But uh, I'm still searching for a better way to do this. So let me just get back over here to my domain and let's give it a bake. So I'm going to free the data and bake again. So I'm going to stop at frame 100 just to assess the quality again. And let's see. Now, as you can see, we have a good simulation. So all we have to do right now, uh, but also I think we have a heavy firepower over here. So there is two ways to, to fix this. First, we can, let me select my engine, this one, and we can reduce the, the fuel amounts. For example, let's set it to only 0.75. Just a third. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so let's just free the data and big again. And I'm going to just stop at frame 40, for example. And I think now we're good. Yeah, we now, now we're good. So all we have to do right now is to increase. I'm going to increase the amount over here, for example, to 200. Just so that we can have a good taste of that baking. And let's bake it. So see you after that. All right, let me stop over here and check again the quality of the baking. And as you can see, we got a good, uh, good baking over here. So you can see that firepower. It's well. Uh, well set. All right. All right. So now what I'd like to do is to change the center of uh, so this source of firepower. I'd like to change it from the tank, which make no sense. We just put this one as a test. I'd like to change it to the side rockets, just like we have in our reference. All right. So in order to do that, I'm going to just delete first our engine, this main engine. Gonna X delete it. And I'm going to select my side rockets. I'm going to select this face over here and zoom on it using the... Okay, so over here I'm going to hit P and separate selection. And after that, let me just on the edit mode, I'm going to select it and scale it down a little bit and move it inside our rockets, our side rockets, just like that. And also now what we need to do is to work on the settings. But before doing that, let me just remove the current baking because we don't need it anymore. Okay, just remove it and let's work on this one. So first I'm going to be making it fluid. I'm going to just repeat the same steps. So the type of the fluid is going to be a flow and over here uh, the type is going to be a uh, fire plus smoke and instead of geometry I would like to have an ongoing flow of uh, fire and smoke so let's just change it to inflow and basically uh, for the fuel so the fuel is really important because we're going to be having it we're going to be animating it so I'd like to increase this fuel to just five. Okay, and also over here for this wind effect, I think 100%, 100 is too much. So I'm going to just decrease it to just 5 and it's going to work just fine. So you might uh, change it based on your situation. So just expect that it's not going to work 100% the same at the first start. So you need to keep trying a uh, lot of times until you find your best sweet spot. All right, so now what I'd like to do is to bring all the other components just like this. Okay. And basically, uh, the, the, the number of, uh, of objects that we need to animate is, I think, four. First, we have the, the fuel tanks plus the rockets. We have our uh, spaceship. So this is two. Uh, third one's going to be the engines. So these are representing the engines. And finally, we have the wind effect, this one. So as you can see, we have four components. All right, so I'm going to hit tree over here or control tree to go to the front side or the left side, this one, orthographic. I'm going to just move it to the starting point. It's going to be, for example, here. I think maybe you need to move it just a tiny bit, just a tad on the left side. All right, so I'm going to jump over here to the frame zero and also the starting point, I prefer to keep it at zero. So over here, I'm going to be uh, hitting E, this E over here, so that we can insert E keyframes and E, and let's insert the location and also the rotation because I'd like to have a tiny uh, spinach around when it's going to be in the air. All right, so I'm going to jump into the last frame, which is the 250, and I'm going to take it up. So I prefer 12 frames. So over here, this cube represents 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we can bring it all the way to that point. So this is the one that I put as a test. So I'm going to hit E again, and let's add uh, the, the rotation. You can see that we have this point, yellow point over there. And E again, and let's add also the location. So I would like to have them both location and rotation because we're going to be tweaking that in just a second all right so let's try this out as you can see we have a nice start but we're going to be having a problem at the end so over here you can you can see that it's going to start to slow down 
Can you see that? So which is not the case. So we need to fix that. So in order to fix that, I'm going to be switching to the graph editor over here. So let me just switch over here to the graph editor. Also over here, I'm going to just revert back a little bit so that we can have an idea about it. So I'm going to hit A and select everything. So over here, you can see that we have this curve. So the blue, the blue curve represents the Z axis, this Z rotation, uh, Z location. So what I'd like to do is, uh, so basically when it's flat, meaning that the, our object is going to slow down, especially over here, you can see it's going up. But it's gonna go in flat. So this, this, uh, I think this, this axis represents the Z location. This axis. So you can see that it's getting uh, lower and lower. So what we need to do is to make it linear. So there is a lot of way to do this. For example, we can select all of those and hit S, X, and hit zero, so that we can make it flat. And now you can see that it's not flat, but we we made it uh, look linear. So now if we went back and try this, you can see that it's almost gonna uh, slow down. So it's going up. But sometimes it doesn't work based on your situation. So if it does not work, so you can do this. I'm going to hit C and deselect all these points. I'm going to just keep these, these handles on the left side. And I'm going to hit G so that I can move them and we can make them look like this. So as you can see, uh, the curve uh, is not flat anymore, which means that we aren't going to be experiencing any slowdown at the start, at the end. So now we have it slow. But over here, it won't going to be slow. And I think we're good. Yeah. So it's going even fast at the end. So we can, for example, uh, make it like this to have it a little bit linear. So now you can see that we have the, some an exponential curve slow at the start and it starts accelerating at the end. So from distance, it looks fine. All right. So let me just try to see a close uh, closer view. Mm, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. So all we have to do right now is to include, I'm going to be selecting our domain and make it cover the entire path. So until it reaches 250. So I'm going to select the top side I'm going to hit three and I'm going to move it until it covers at least the engines. So that's all we need. So it must cover the engines. There is no need to cover it all. Okay. And also, I think uh, I don't want to have any any smoke beyond our base. So I just want uh, sort of select everything S shift Z. And let's scale it down like this. Also, we can go to the top side and check that out. S X. Oops, S X. Something like this and also S Y and let's scale it like that. Because it's going to make no sense to have some uh, some uh, because if you want to keep it uh, if you want to cover the entire spot, we need to bring it down because the smoke is going to collide with the bottom side and it's going to go over here. It's going to be awful. So this way it's going to be better, even though it's not very realistic because as you can see over here, the behavior of the smoke, it doesn't behave like that, but this is just a test. We might, imp we will improve it later on. Okay. So let me try again and let's see, as you can see, we have a good start. Also over here, I think it's better to uh, move this bar right on the left side. So for example, we can, let me just uh, put the cursor at the starting point. Can I put the cursor right here? Select this phase, shift S, cursor to select it. And I'm going to be uh, switching this one. I'm going to be moving based on the 3D cursor, just like that. So let's, let me select both of those. For example, we can do something like this. But I think uh, we need to do it before the launch. Let's just try to do it fast. So over here, I'm going to hit E and apply or add the rotation. So on frame 10, for example, you can move it to the side by 25 degrees. So E and let's add the rotation. All right, let's see. So this one is not cooperating. Let's just see. Now, actually, we must bring this one back. Or actually, what we need to do is, uh, yeah, I think I got the problem. So for this object, we're removing it. So what we need to do is to also include the location. So E and let's add also the location. And let's jump, for example, to frame 10 or even 15. Doesn't have to be speedy. So R X R Z and let's spin it by 25 degree. And also over here, let's uh, hit E and insert location as well as rotation. All right, so let's try it now. Doing good, even though it's not realistic because we need to have some time. 
but that's fine. All right, we got our rocket, our rocket launch. All right, so now all we have to do is I'm gonna be increasing the the, the, the resolution of our bacon. Over here, I'm gonna be setting it to 70, or you know what, let's, let's go with 200, just so that we can assess the quality of our bacon. So let me just check, I have a final check. So over here, we set it to five, which is fine. All right, so let me just go ahead and pick our uh, rocket launch. Okay, it's just 200, we're gonna increase it to 750. I'm gonna stop here. And let's see. I think we're good, yeah. So all we have to do right now is to increase that amount, that resolution amount to 750. And let's give it, for example, I think it's gonna take 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so there we go. So our bacon is completed. So now what I'd like to do is uh, we're gonna be adding a camera and tracking our uh, rocket launch. So you can see how the, the bacon is done. I think uh, it looks pretty nice. All right, so now let's add our camera so that you can track our animation. So uh, shift A and I'm gonna go to a camera like this. And I'd like to start, for example, the starting point from zero. So we can start, for example, here. Control Alt and hit zero so that we can fix our camera to this view and we can tweak it a little bit. So we can bring it down a little bit like this. Okay, and also also over here, uh, I'm gonna be adding a base. So Shift S, cursor to the world origin, Shift A and let's add a plane. I'm gonna ask scale it by, let's say 25 or even up, scale by two. And also I'm gonna hit, uh, or let's add the subdivision modifier. Actually, we don't want to have uh, sharp corners, so let me just get it even up. And for example, let's increase that viewport to, for example, three, just like that. Sheet smooth. We might also bring it down a little bit, something like that. All right, so let's hit zero and get back to our camera, and let's start. So we can we can do uh, we can start from here. So the starting point, I'm gonna just right click in search keyframes, so for the rotation as well as the location. And for example, at frame, uh, I'm gonna jump into frame 250. I'm gonna just move my camera up. As you can see, I didn't can continue with the bacon. You can just continue, but I just stopped at frame 200 here. So basically got the idea. There is no need to add more time into it. So for example, let's stop right here uh, to frame 200, right click, insert keyframes, and let's see. So let's see if we're gonna be having a good following up. But actually what I'd like to do is to slow down the camera. As you can see, it's uh, it's going with the rocket launch linearly. So I don't want that. I, I want to emphasize that starting point. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna switch again to the graph editor and make the slow start, uh, the, the start slow a little bit. So let me select my camera, select all these points. I think uh, the one responsible is this one, as you can see, because it's curvy. So I try to scale it down like this, or even scale it up, yeah, so that we can slow down that start. All right, so let's see. All right, as you can see, uh, the camera is kind of fixed, giving us the opportunity to see our rocket launch going up, which is nice. Okay, so it's gonna go like that. All right, so there we go. So as you can see, we added our camera and we make it focus on our space rocket launch. Okay, so we're gonna continue in the next coming lecture.